Uh, what's going on you guys? This is a different video. Um, um, it's a video that can potentially save you lots of money a month. Or per month, each month, doesn't matter how you say it. But anyway, this video can will most likely save you lots of money if you can follow my steps. And... Alright, you already know what this is. I'm making a homemade portable air conditioner. Um, this can be brought almost anywhere. Yeah, almost anywhere, I guess. Depending on the type of fan you get and how big the cooler is. But what you're going to need first is, you're going to need like a styrofoam cooler like this one. See, I can show you the inside. You're going to need the styrofoam cooler. I got... <sighs> I made sure to get a large one. Um, the inside, yeah, you know what the inside. And ice. Doesn't matter if you get ice cubes or frozen jug of water. I'm just gonna tell you right now that the frozen jug of water is ten times better than the ice. The ice melts way faster. It creates the same amount of cooling, but it does not last as long as the jug. The jug will create the same amount of cool air this will create. Except the jug will last ten times longer. I don't know why. Someone tell me that. I really don't know why. I, I don't know. And you're gonna need a sharp knife for precision cutting. It'd be better to use like a box knife or something. But I'm too, <clears throat> I'm too lazy to get it. And you'll need like a small desk fan. Like, you know what I mean? Like, even getting one of those small, like, USB fans, those ones are fine enough. Let's get started. So you're going to want to start by making a line that's a little bit smaller than this. Just in case, you know, you cut too big or, yeah, it's better to cut too small than too big. Because if you cut too small, you can fix it. If you cut it too big, you kind of can't it's kind of like hard to fix it so kind of do it at an angle as you go around yeah I got pen on me okay anyway you just kind of cut at an angle or not cut draw at an angle as you go around so it's smaller so it's you it's noticeably smaller so let me do that crap while I put this camera down Alright, so I was able to cut around, see, alright, so we just kind of do this, yeah, <sighs> dirty, not dirty, uh, alright, so, you see, it's obviously not big enough, which is a good thing, you can always force it, see, you can always, like, you can always force it down like that, and it goes down. So that's step one. That is step one of making this thing. Is installing the fan on the top. You always install it on the top. And it's always better to put um, this whole unit on like a higher place. Like for, like for example up there or even right there would be fine. So that was step one. Step one's done. So, uh, it's actually, it actually fits, fits perfect. You just gotta find its right place. Huh, wow. Well, anyway, step two. <sighs> step two is making the holes around the unit. I don't know, um, I don't know how I should do it, but... It'd be better to do it with PVC pipe instead of just making the hole. Because with the PVC pipe, it it can shoot out. I don't have PVC pipe, but I've got something that's close to a PVC pipe. So let me go grab that for you guys, and I'll show you. Oh, and even using the paper towel rolls, like the little brown thing in the middle, the brown cardboard thing, even that's fine. So, yeah. So you guys aren't totally screwed, and you can do it from the toilet paper rolls and everything. So this thing is extremely cheap. 
Oh, oh, never mind that little price tag right there. Just let me get that out of there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, never mind that price tag that says eighteen ninety nine. I totally didn't pay eighteen ninety nine dollars for this. Just kidding. I got it for free from one of my uh, cousins. He helped me a lot. He gave me lots of advice for my videos. All right, let's go. Oh, jeez. Alright, so what I did was I took the toilet paper brown rolls, like, on the inside, and I cut it in half. Yeah, I'm watching South Park. I was. Well, anyway, you take these. I cut it in half because I didn't want just one hole. I mean, it's better to have more than one hole. I mean, I'm going to put them, like, right over here. They're actually, like, down lower. So, it's easier for the cold air to escape. So, I really don't know how I'm going to do this. I have to think. Okay, as you can see, I cut a hole. It's a little not circle-y kind of. But I got a new knife. My other one is right here, but I got this one. So, this one should be sharper and should do the job. So, I just took the pen and kind of traced around it yeah the hole might be a little bigger but I got some like extreme heavy duty duct tape so that should do the job and I'm gonna cut I see how I cut or I traced right here I want to trace right here on the other one so that one's on this side and then we'll be on that side so let's get cutting all right so I cut out I already cut off the hole it actually fits quite snug Snug, you don't need to put it in like all the way. I put it in halfway. Only because you want it to protrude out to create kind of like. See, I can feel the cold air coming out of it only because there's a hole at the top. Legitimately, I can feel it. <laughs> so already, I know this is going to be cold. So this one, the hole's just a tiny bit too small. Like I said, it's always better to have the hole small than too big. I should probably increase the size. Hmm. Alright, let's see what I can do. I don't think I said this yet, but it's gonna get messy. So, like, bring a broom, preferably a vacuum cleaner, because this crap's gonna stick to the broom, and it's just, uh, it's gonna make a huge mess. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to clean this up yet. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to have to, like, sweep it up or something. But I'll deal with that at the end. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Oh, and I switched knives, if you didn't know. This is, like, a skinnier blade and a longer. It's, like, it's also, like, ten times sharper than both of these. I have no idea why, but it's just sharper. All right, I'm going to close this thing. I was able to fit it in. It, I mean, it didn't fit perfectly. It's kind of, the hole's a little too small, but it'll do. Um, let's plug this in and see what it can do. What is that noise? <laughs> oh, it's the ice. So anyway, it's on. Fan's on. I feel cold air coming out. In fact, if you want it even more cold, just add more ice cubes. More, I can, I'm probably going to add that thing too. Ugh, it's already starting to melt. Oh, jeez, it's already starting to melt. So anyway, yeah. Yeah, I can feel, I can, definite, I can definitely feel the cooler air coming out. Um, that's a piece of styrofoam. Uh, I wonder how melted the ice is. It's probably not a... It's probably not melted at all because it's been in this cooler the whole time. But, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoy. And I really hope you guys do this idea because it actually works. I tried it before with, like, a, back in the fall. I'll Go watch the video. Just scroll down. You'll see it. So, this is a do-it-yourself um, homemade portable air conditioner. Saves you lots of money every month. And... Can still keep you just as cool. Uh, same amount of air coming out of that. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.